in 2013 deep in the woods of Kansas something very strange and very magical was happening among the trees but as the Fisher family walked through the enchanted landscape they were about to discover something even more special the city in which they walked was Overland Park Kansas and at the time it was witness to something pretty incredible yes within the woods that sit on the outskirts of the city strange dwellings began appearing almost overnight in fact visitors began uncovering tiny doors along the Tomahawk Creek Trail and these miniature entrances were carefully concealed in the trunks of trees what's more when the doors opened they often revealed extraordinary little homes within the magical settlement was dubbed the firefly forest and it appeared to be home to an enchanting community of creatures perhaps a group of fairies or possibly a colony of elves not surprisingly the local children were delighted with their unexpected new neighbors everyone however wondered just how these houses came to be it later transpired alas that the enchanting project wasn't the work of magic there had though been a little human help in the form of Robin Frampton this single mom had just moved to Overland Park in 2012 and she was seeking respite from a particularly stressful divorce initially then Frampton started to build the houses to help her sons Parker and Tyler cope with the upheaval of the separation in the beginning we didn't do this for other people she explained in the gnomist a short film about the forest we did this for us I would love for them not to experience the pain of divorce and stay in that childish space for a little bit longer but over time people started noticing and the forest became a popular landmark within the local community and the magic spread too how because the colorful little homes helped those living in the suburbs to overcome their sense of isolation and it gave neighbors something to bond over indeed young and old alike were enchanted not only by the houses but also by the incredible detail contained within yes these tiny rooms were decorated with miniature beds and pocket-sized furniture while minuscule possessions hinted at their fairy tale occupants and in one teeny kitchen Frampton had even placed a little kettle on the boil using dry ice to create steam it was touches like this that kept people coming back for more one day for example a house would be filled with moving boxes and the next the boxes would be gone and the rooms redecorated signaling that a new magical little guest had just moved in there was one other thing that the residents loved about the forest too it contained a house where people could actually leave notes for the fairies and so visitors to firefly forest left messages clipped to the tree which Frampton gathered up when no one else was around naturally then as word of the fairy houses spread families enjoyed a visit to the enchanting community but for Kelly Fisher and her family the trip to firefly forest was especially magical and the start of a truly moving adventure why because sadly Fisher's three-year-old daughter Ellie had passed away in 2013 following a battle with brain cancer and now Fisher often visited the forest with her husband and daughter to reminisce about the little girl who loved nothing more than the great outdoors Ellie had been especially fond of owls and so her family had nicknamed her little owl once then Fisher left a note in firefly forest in memory of her daughter and she'd signed it off with the words love you little owl Frampton discovered the note and she knew exactly what needed to be done I just thought oh my gosh she told CNN somebody's lost their child immediately my thought was of course we'll make a door for her it just seemed natural it seemed like the right thing to do so the next time the Fisher family visited the forest a heartwarming surprise was in store there set in the hollow trunk of a tree was Ellie's very own little door painted green and set with a tiny gold owl the door was the perfect tribute to the little girl it's the most beautiful act of compassion Fisher told CNN that a stranger would know the pain and think I should do something to honor that short life what's more the Fisher family now have the perfect place where they can come and remember Allie unfortunately however the rest of the forest hasn't enjoyed such a happy ending at the height of the house's popularity director of Park Services Greg Ruther expressed concern over them and queried who would be responsible for maintaining them moreover eventually he decreed that the little buildings must be removed from the woods altogether so it was that the gnomist ended on a bittersweet note with Frampton and her family packing down the houses and heading off for a new life in Utah thankfully though the story doesn't end there that's because the Fisher family will always have the one door that Frampton refused to take down the one dedicated to little owl 
and soon other children might be able to benefit from her magical work too. Yes, thanks to the success of The Gnomist, Frampton has been inundated with support from fans around the world, and now she's hard at work on her next project, a huge multi-story fairy house destined for a children's hospital in Salt Lake City. Meanwhile, rumors are beginning to spread that tiny magical houses have started cropping up in the woods around Utah. It's probably just a coincidence, of course. Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.